Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Pioneer Playtest. I know if you just watched the Shadow of the Colossus one that went up a moment ago, this is the second one in one night. I haven't done any in a while, and I've done two in one night. I know, it's amazing. Um, this is the other game I rented. I rented Shadow of the Colossus, and I rented Monster Hunter World. I didn't know if Monster Hunter World was going to hold my attention and be any good. I kind of liked the, the demo that they put out before the game came out, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like the actual game. So I hedged my bets and I rented Shadow of the Colossus. While I finished Shadow of the Colossus, I am nowhere near done with this game. I, I put about six hours in the last two days of this game. Um, I like it. I have some, some issues with it, so let me address those right out the gate. Um, the Honest Trailer guys, I believe, were the ones that did it. They said that outside of the combat, this game is a lot like doing your taxes. And I'll show you that in a second. Because it does have some complex menus and stuff to go through. Combat, I also have a small issue with in the fact that it's kind of clunky. Like, it's not it's not as smooth as, like, let's say, Assassin's Creed Origins. Which I just spent, you know, the month of February and a big chunk of November playing. I took a break. So, but I, I took a it took a lot of time. It was the only, or basically the only game I played for a while combat in it was really smooth this combat takes some getting used to this is my character um, blonde hair blue eyed uh, exposed thighs <laughs> um, based on my girlfriend because I do that I'm one of those dorks that uh, anytime I want to play a, a long action oriented game I frequently will create a character based on my girlfriend just because I think it's funny that's her Palico Steve, which is based on my cat growing up. That is a thing in this game. There are cat people, as you can see. There's one right there, the Mouscular Chef. There's a couple over there cooking. So that, that right out the gate, you should know that this is a very weird game. Let's eat real quick before we do anything. We'll pay with money. We're going to do ourselves a Hunter's Platter because it gives us health and stamina upgrades. We're going to pay for it, and we're going to get this crazy little animation. By now, you should be getting a feel for if this is the kind of vibe in a game you, you are into. Alright, there we go. Got my temporary stat boost. Alright. So right out the gate... That stuff should tell you what kind of game this is. That and the giant <laughs> sword on my back. Very, very early in the game here. Um, this is one of the things that when you talk about complexity... <laughs> forge upgrade, forge palico equipment, customize your bow gun, manage kinsex, and change equipment. Alright, so forge equipment. Let's go with armor. I'm currently wearing the Jogress set, um, but we have other options that could be forged. Let's see, change that, those, different helmet, proper knight's helmet, really looks like a character out of Dark Souls. Alright, so you got all that stuff, and then you get your weapons, you know, the various types of weapons here. I'm using the Switch X. Which is a very popular one. You got all the upgrade trees, all this stuff. Like I said, very complex. Uh, I kind of agree with what they said in jest about it being a lot like doing your taxes. All right. Then you take missions. You have missions. Let's take the lift down. Down to the trade yard. Be a little quicker than running the stairs. Down here. You got your provisions guy. Yeah, a bunch of NPCs. Fridge and stockpile. Let's sell some stuff from my pouch. I want to sell stuff that makes ammo. Because I don't use projectiles right now. And all this stuff can be gotten later. And don't. There we go. Max, there we go. Mm -hmm. 
I can feel some of you already getting a feel for what kind of game this is. And uh, you're right, it is that kind of game. So let's uh, let's see what he has to buy. Pouch. Hmm. Yeah, I need potions. Let's max that out. All right. Now that we got that done, you get missions, you get bounties from these people. Hello. So you get bounties from these people, you get pick them, like, I want to do the field research for honey, or slay eight small monsters. We can do that one. Alright. So we're doing this one. You also get quests, either from your handler or from the board. My current quest is... Sinister Shadows in the Swamp. We might go give that one a try. Um, okay. So let's let's not do that right now. Let's go to the map. And what we'll do is is a expedition. Cuz I am not good at this game yet. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. This is my first Monster Hunter game ever. Uh, I am not good at it. As I said, I have issues with the combat. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little clunky. Um, even with the simple weapons. Because I started the game using just a, a big ass anime fucking sword. Um, combat's difficult. For, for a newbie like me. I haven't had the benefit of jumping in with anybody yet to play multiplayer. You can play, I think, in groups of four. Uh, but even that's kind of complicated. It's like, you know, it's like it bases it on, like, have you seen the story mission or not? Uh, the story cutscene. So, like, you might be in with a group, get to a point that you haven't seen yet, and then, you know, you've got to go watch the cutscene while they you know, play around, do whatever. So it's not the most optimized multiplayer setup. But, uh, it's a fun game. I, I have to admit, I have a lot of fun with it. So here's my handler. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go out here, and we're gonna kill small monsters. Get the whetstone ready, cause you always gotta, gotta. Did you count as a large monster? I don't know. We'll find out though. Hey, Steve's getting in there trying to get himself some. All right, so I, I set them a running. Didn't do myself any favors. There we go. He counts as a small monster. Oh, and then after you kill anything, you can do this. Just go ahead and carve him up. Get myself a little raw meat to cook. Oh, wait, I got more to kill off of him? More to... I can get more. More raw meat. Are we done? Yeah, you faded away, so we're done. Who are you and why are you here? Howdy! Okay, he's a, he's a fisher. Fisherman. Excuse me for the drink noise in the ear. Alright, so he's fishing. There we go, got you. Oh, come on, guys. 
Yeah, just run right at me. I'll, I'll take you off. As I said earlier, this is the switch axe I'm using. <laughs> Clip through the uh, animals. This this game really basically only appeals to a certain type of individual. It's not going to appeal to everybody. I enjoy it though. In fact, I know some people right now that might be looking at this and be like, this game looks stupid. Alright, wet zone. Gotta sharpen the blade. It's getting a little dull. As you can see, the uh, yellow meter up there in the corner. Alright, we're gonna kill you too. It's making it too easy. All right, it's gonna kill one more. Uh, put my weapon weapon away here. Now this is not all this game is. This is just me doing this little side mission here. Looks like I'm all maxed out on raw meat. That's a sad thing. Wasting all this dead animal. I haven't mastered the art of cooking yet. Because it's a, a timing and timing based thing. I'll show you that too real quick once I kill the last of these little small guys. Some big's coming behind me. I thought. I thought I heard some big coming. Little carrion bird show up every time I kill something. Alright, so I did I completed that bounty. That'll come in handy, because it uh we'll go back and turn that quest in. So let me I got the means to cook. Yes I do. Alright. So there we cook. I haven't got the timing down just yet. See, I burn it every time. Try this again. Nice. That All right, got that so one done. Tasty. Finally got one done. Maybe I've gotten better at cooking. Uh, burnt that one. It's like an exact timing thing. A little rare. There's also some music that plays while you're doing it, but I've got the music turned way down for copyright purposes. There we go. Well done. Alright, enough of that. Sharpen this bad boy back up. I'm gonna show you one of the big guys, one of the big monsters. Let's see if we can't find one. They're usually in here. I don't know if there's one really nearby. See all the stuff popping up over here on the left? This is stuff that you can investigate to improve your understanding of uh, of the various monsters. A lot of them are very dinosaur-like. Um, in fact, most of them dinosaur and dragon-like. Like, see, here's these giant or these little fellas here. I'm also very bad at holstering my weapon when I want to swing it. I think Steve just hit one. I think Steve just... Yeah, Steve's out there killing stuff. 
Alright. These fellows are what my armor's made out of. I've killed a bunch of these. Try to get one of the big guys. The big T Rex looking guy, the Anginath, the one that who's uh keeps showing up over there on the side of the screen. I have yet to kill one of them. They keep killing me. So let's go up here. Incredibly, this is uh, Capcom's fastest selling game ever, apparently. Okay, once upon a time, there was a... Yeah, I'm not sure who's doodling. Obviously, having just looked at uh, Shadow of the Colossus, this game is not nearly as good looking, uh, but still a lot of fun if you can get past the things I already discussed. Like I know out th on the outside, this is not a game that everyone's going to enjoy. Not even everyone who watches this video is going to enjoy it, but I have grown to enjoy it quite a bit. Still learning what things do. Oh, Rathalos, awesome. Let's see if we can find one of those. Yeah, see? Leveled up my understanding of the Rathalos. Want to sell some Rathalos scale? What are you? Oh, well. Investigate you. I don't know what sun bloom's good for, but big job. Collecting some spider web. Apparently, that's good for traps of some kind. I see. I'm still very much learning this game, so like, I can't give a educated. This is what you need to do. You know, this is this is how this best works, and this is what this does. I, I'm not that guy. Oh, here's a a moss swine. Killed it dead. I like moss swine, that's a good word for an animal. Yeah, not at all sure who the doodles are from. But it's this kind of game. It's an exploration game, it's a hunting game. Um, it's got some very bizarre qualities to it, though. Uh, one would say that maybe it's a, a very Japanese game as far as the way things work. Um, here's some honey. That turns potions into mega potions. Scrape some mucus into the, uh, the old jar here. I find it funny that I'm having a hard time finding a monster when every other time I play this game, they're everywhere. I bet if I looked at my map, I'll find some. Ah, oh, see, there's an engine right there, down, down by camp. Let's put a pin in him. 
Now my scout flies will go find him. Fans of the Monster Hunter series are probably already playing this game. Uh, people like me that are new to it, this is what this video is for. I want to show you how complex this game is and whether it's worth your time. Because like, like I said, I rented two games this weekend because I wasn't sure this one was going to be worth my time. I wasn't entirely sold that I was going to play it and be like, oh yeah, that's a good game. Oh, there you go. Pretty sure we'll have to fight those things now. I think I might have aggravated them. Well, we'll just keep collecting the footprints while we're out on our way. Obviously, the engine has been through here. I've killed a number of things, though, in the time I've been playing this game. I killed some big, crazy bird looking some bitch with a waggly tongue that spit poison. He was a pain. And then, uh, there's the engine ath. Hey, told you we'd find him eventually. Let's uh, go ahead and sharpen our blade. Alright, let's go at it. What's up, big guy? I missed. He didn't pay me any mind. I'm just gonna follow you for a little while, see where you go. I got a light crystal. I don't know what that's for, but I got it. Go ahead and get some of those. Arm up with those, because that's better. Where you going, big guy? He's climbing on up. One of the cooler things about this game, and I don't think we're going to get to see it here, though, is, is that... um. There's a a food chain where while you're fighting monsters, other bigger monsters will show up on occasion. Sometimes they'll join in. Other times they will fuck your day. You know they'll, they'll fuck your day up too. I had that happen a number of times when I was trying to fight the uh, the the bird with a big tongue that spit poison. Um, an anginath kept showing up and just making the fight way harder than it needed to be. Where is he going? Making my life hell. One of the one of the gripes that a lot of people have about this game, and I can see that is, is that the uh, the hunts have times on them if you're doing a mission. I get your attention. No, I'm just not worth his time apparently. Maybe he'll go after those. That would be nice. Is he creeping up on him? I think he might be. He might be stalking him. Yeah, he is. Watch him eat some stuff while we... while we dig in the bones. hide here in the shrubs while he eats. Shut up, Steve. Hit him. Alright, we're gonna try to fight this guy. So 
switch to the sword. Oh man, see? They fuck me up every time. I don't know how to fight those guys. And I get carted back to here. So, that's me sucking at this. That, that, that's how it goes every time. I try to fight one of those fuckers. Don't know quite what I'm doing wrong. Let's give it another try. Give it another try. That's what you do, right? You fail, you go back at it. Hey guys. You guys are kinda hostile, so I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm after something. I'm on the hunt. Oh, we're at Max Honey. Scout flies are very handy. I just wish sometimes they would lock onto some of the other stuff. Like I was doing a quest once for mushrooms. I had to find a bunch of uh, special mushrooms in it. It was a nightmare. It took me damn near 40 minutes to find them all. Basically like right before the, the quest ran out of time, I found them all. Oh, there's my buddy. Let's not pussyfoot around. Let's just go right at it. Come on, big guy. I'll come around behind you. I hit you the butt, didn't I? Oh, and then you rode at me. Like I said, I'm really good at accidentally sheathing my weapon. Kick in my ass. Alright, let's kill me. Oh, I'm done. Fucking done. Let's heal up. And then we're going to be right back at it again. Apparently I uh, emoted or something at some point. Because there's a message that I disagree. See, I don't, I don't know the first thing about how to kill these things. fucking got me again. <laughs> Tried to take cover and instead I tumbled at him. Damn it. Alright, we're gonna sharpen up again go at him again. I'm stubborn like this. Going after this some bitch. We're gonna find him, and we're gonna die again. See these fuckers will butt you with their heads. I want more than anything is for something else to show up while we're fighting.
There he is again. I wanted to show off the switch axe, but uh, I suck. Big guy. Hey, I'm over here. Where are you going? Fucker. <laughs> Make me chase you. Son of a bitch, you. Oh, stamina at this point. T-Rex with a funky nose and some wings. Damn. Give me, give me the thing. There we go. Thank you, Steve. Get it. Fuck. He just nailed me. Alright, we're leaving. Fine, we got it. I'm not good enough to kill you. I'm not good enough to kill you, I understand. Leave me alone. Hold very still. Maybe I'll escape. Okay, good. Don't find me. Don't find me. Fuck, you found me. <laughs> Alright. We're moving on from that. That's, uh, three attempts. Let's go turn in a quest. Oh, shit. There's Rathlos nearby. Oh, but I have no shot of killing that. Oh, that's the engine. Death. Never mind. But yeah, see, this is, this is the first area of the game. Oh, man. I wish I was better at this, because it would make showing you this game so much easier if I were better. Me sucking is not the best way to show this game off. So let's... Let's fast travel back to the, the place so I can deliver this quest. I'm just absolutely not good at this game. I, I, I so wish I were better. I'll go gather some stuff. Well, oh, see, well, at least I uh, made some progress there. I'm so bad. So bad at this game. There's a fair bit of this game, though, that is uh, very dense. Like, they don't explain a lot. Um, I hesitate to evoke the name of Dark Souls, because it's not like that. Uh, but it is a very, very precise sort of combat. Waste immediately. You look well. Let's, let's turn in this, uh, turn in this bounty here. Alright, yep. Alright, so we turned in that bounty. Good for us. We'll go up here and talk to the wildlife folk. Yes. Field guide updated. Alright. The field guide. See, I've, I've killed four of these guys. One of those. Uh, those things are a pain because they hold rocks. 
Uh, that thing's a pain. That's the that's the uh, snake tongue venom spitting bird I was talking about. These guys are a pain because they're like the Anjanath but armored. I still haven't killed one of those. Or those, or those. Let's see, those things are bad news. And that's that's the big bad that you're after. Uh, that's the big ultimate monster, the Elder Dragon. Um, super strange game. A lot of fun, though. It's just... It's one of those things that like I actually hesitate calling it a lot of fun because I know there are a ton of people that will totally not be into this game. Like, it's just not going to appeal to most people. But to those of you that can look past the clunkiness of the combat and the, the obtuseness of the menus, I think you'll find a good game here. Let's see. So we got new armor of any kind. Because I picked up some Rathlow scales. I was... Yeah, see, that's a interesting looking helmet you can make there. Same with that one. That's actually kind of kind of badass looking in its own way. That's weird. Never seen this stuff. on the revealing side and that that fantasy armor that's not realistic all right don't want to waste too much time here so let's let's go back down I oh, know we can do it right here let's let's start this mission this story quest so you can get a feel for how those work see if I've done a handful I'm gonna set it to one because I just don't want people button in on this uh on this because that does happen when I play online games the uh, people pass drink to join and then just make an ass of themselves I remember one time I let somebody join playing uh, Dead Island and they were an utter pain in my ass the whole time. Oh, the chef wants something. Let's go see what the chef wants before we leave. Seven. Okay, those things are weird fish things. I haven't, I don't think I've encountered the Vespoids, but okay. Alright, let's depart. We're into the wild, wild spire waste, so maybe we can take care of some of that stuff while we're out there. But I really love when, when monsters go at each other. That's, that's, that's a fun bit. That's one of the things that happened when I played the demo. I was attacking either one of the big Baroth stone T-Rexes or one of the Anginaths. I was fighting them. And then some big snake-like thing attacked it, and it just, it's an awesome, awesome thing that they do okay. when, it, when it happens. Let's look for the scholar. He must have left some kind of trail. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're heading towards the swamp. What's up, Steve? I had a cat that looked just like that, hence his name. Pick up some stones for my slingshot. I like that at a distance things move like they're part of a uh, a um like Ray Harryhausen, not Ray Har Harryhausen, um, like an old stop motion animation thing. I want to kill you, weird hopping deer. Fine, we'll leave you be. I will let you live. Let's 
footprints of what? Ah. That was an odd noise she just made. Zooming in on. Huh? Wait, what's that there? That's a tree. <laughs> wait, wait! What's going on with the scout flies? It turned purple. Some of those hateful fish thingies out here somewhere. There they are. I see them. I see the hateful fish thing. I don't want there's a book. Come on, fish things. We're gonna kill you. Damn you. Got him with my switch axe. I kill like 17 of these fucking things or something like that. Where this is taking me. It's taking me to dangerous places. With big ugly things to fight that will kill me. here and get some cactus. Cactus is good. Hope you're all enjoying me being very bad at this game. Uh, I have a feeling a lot of the people that will come to this video will be people that know what the hell they're doing and they're gonna be just absolutely incensed by what I do. What is that big thing there? Is that the missing scholar? It is that the scholar? That's what I just What's said. He's sitting next to. It looks like a a barrel. With crystals growing out of its head. All right. So let's attack these things. Oh, we're not going to get to. I was gonna attack Don't the fish. Let him find me. Don't let him find me. Oh, I, I saw it. No, the Juratotos, that didn't kill the Baroth. It was a. Uh, uh. Yeah, that thing. Ironically, the big fish snake thingy that I saw in the demo. 
that I'm now going to have to fight. Here it comes. New target! New target! Hunt that Juratotus! use the SOS flare because it wouldn't let me earlier probably won't because I uh yeah see I, I have it set ah, I have it set to one player probably won't let me do it because of that Damn you. Such a chicken shit. Me, not it. I just haven't quite figured out how this game flows enough to attack everything head on. This is. Try to figure out if those fish, thing are, fish things are attacking it. Ah, oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of the stinky shit. Son of a bitch. This is how the hunts go. You fight him for a little bit and then you gotta hunt him down. Which is where it gets frustrating because you know you got a time limit. Like what's the time limit on this one here? See, I've got 41 minutes to kill this thing. And sometimes it'll take all of those 41 minutes to do it. See? Because I played so much Assassin's Creed, I'm constantly wanting to... Yes, combat. Come on, hit the toad. Oh, I got me too, damn it. Legs. It fucking grew legs. 
What the shit? Steve distracted while I watched up. There we go. Come here, you asshole. Steve's underwater. I didn't get him. I'm so bad at this game. sharpen back up here. I know I'm not being the most conversational here while this is going on, but this is ridiculous. Where'd this fucker go? What's this sticky mud at that I can pick up? Where did it fucking go? How did I lose it? Oh, there it is. <sighs> so, Monster Hunter fans, are you better at this game than I am? Because I fucking suck. There it is, back down here again. Well, like some some indication of how I'm doing against it would be nice. Come on, big guy. Yeah, you want to fight me? You 
fucker. Get up. To heal and there we go. That. Oh, we got time here. Give me time. Give me time. Give me time. Back here, asshole. I'm done with you. Bro. got broken. Steve, get in there and fight, damn it. This is going way longer than I wanted it to, but I don't want to stop mid-fight. So you guys just gotta bear with me while I uh, try to fuck, th fuck this thing up. Apparently it just primarily runs from one site to another. So this is the only two places I fought it.
Damn it. That's all. Keep Steve alive. Do what's done, dude. Perfect timing. <sighs> this fight goes on and on and on. I'm chasing you. Oh shit, we got it on its on its last legs. I see the skull. Come on. Let's uh sharpen up and go after it. We're gonna kill this fucker, and that is gonna be the end of the end of the playtest. It's fucking dying. Get it. These fights take so long. Like how long has this one been? It's been about 20 minutes of fighting this thing. That, that's the thing that will turn a lot of people off to this game. Is the, uh, the length of time the fights take. Yeah, big old cry baby. Got your corner back there now, don't I? Just laying there wounded. Oh, fucking bite me in the back. You asshole. Steve hit them, not me.
There we go. So let's sharpen up, and then we'll go kill that big guy in the back. Call the day. Oh, several to guide you. Guide you Ah, oh, I disappeared on me. So it's a long fight, and I only got to, only got to harvest two of them. How do you even pronounce the name of this thing we're fighting? Jayura... Jayura Totus? Yeah, we're coming for you, big guy. Yep. I know you're almost dead. That's why you wanted to fight back here at home. Oh, why'd I heal when there's a thing here to use? Get him, Steve. It'd be funny if Steve gets the kill hit. Oh, I got it. I shake this feeling that there's something really bad about those thorns. All right, we're gonna we're gonna scavenge a bit here, but that is going to be it for this playtest. I hope you've enjoyed my look at Monster Hunter World. Saw how bad I am at it. How interesting a game it is, how strange it is, how very Japanese it is. Um, give it a look if you're into this sort of thing. It, it's a it's a fun sort of game. I, I really enjoy it. It's uh, different, completely different than anything else I've ever played, but a whole lot of fun. Last time I'm going to say it tonight, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you check out all the social medias, pinark.com, that'll get you the, the weekly podcast, all that stuff. You know, Twitter, Facebook, all that. Find me there at Polynerdic. Give me a follow. I'll see you next time for more of Polynerdic Playtest, Polynerdic Plays, all the above, everything we do. Thank you for watching. See you next time.